Right. I have to fight through the crowds outside. Yeah, well, we was closed for dinner. We were closed for dinner. Now we're open for the afternoon. I'm sure be all back to see her then, innit? What's all this? It's for me mum's soft. You're going to hire a pram? I bought it. It suits you. Do you want to come with us or what? I wasn't under the impression you were going anywhere. Teddy's upstairs. He can mind the shop. You'll have to wait till I get back. I promise to deliver the standard this afternoon. I don't want to wait. You're not using the van. How do you mean? You can't have the van. I'm using it. I'll use it later. It won't be long. I'm going now. Keys. What do you mean, keys? Give me the keys. I've got work to do. Waste your own time, not mine. You should be in that pram, Barry, not pushing it. No, I'm not buying anything till it's born. Superstition, I know. I know it's silly. I can't help it, Trees. That's the way I am. Damon, yeah, he's OK. He's back with Linda. Oh, wait, I'll have to go. It's our Barrett. He's got a pram. You know what that means. All right, love. Yeah, I'll see you Sunday. OK, give our love to Matty. Yeah, I'll be early. All right, love. Thanks for ringing. All right. Oh, well, you don't tell me I'm too late. You what? What have you gone all trendy? You become an habitat man. It's that part trying to palm me off. What can I palm you off with this? Is that for me? Yeah, do you like it? You're not going to believe this. Don't tell me you've already got one. No, it's not. It's just, well, you know, superstition. Don't be soft, man. Where's it saying in the Bible that you can't have a pram? It's not that, love. Well, I know it isn't the best one in the world, like, but it's clean and it's comfy and it's better than one of them Indian sling things. I know. I just feel funny. I just want to wait until the baby's born. All right, suit yourself. It's a lovely pram, love. It's just that with this baby, especially this baby, you know what I mean. I'm not being funny, love, honest. I just think it might be tempting fate. Well, you can't pretend it's not going to happen, ma'am. I know. You don't mind, do you? No. It's a good job you were in, you know. I was going to leave it there as a surprise. <laughs> well, let's wait and see what happens. I'll probably be begging you for it in a few months' time. Well, you won't, ma'am, because I'll have swapped it for a car by then. I'd better get this back to Pat before he gets ideas about me buying it. Well, I suppose I'd better push this back down the shop, eh? I'm sorry, Rob. Stop apologising, ma'am. I'll be able to sell it to one of the customers. Could you push this all the way home? Me and Teddy. <laughs> oh, what's so funny? Then it's sweet, really. Wish it had a camera. Yeah, well, <laughs> you want to see us pushing cement mixers? That's even funnier. <laughs> I'll tell you what would be even funnier. My dad would be one of them on. Don't laugh, you used to go in a duffel bag. I'm sorry, love, it was really good of you to get me the pram. Don't break the speed limit on the way back. <laughs> Are you OK? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, come on, love, don't cry. Come on. Come on, don't cry, love. You right? Sure. Come on, sit down, come on. Oh, come on, love. Cheer up. Come on. I don't like seeing you cry. Come on. Feeling better? How about that cup of tea, eh? You'll see. A cup of tea will make all the difference. Oh, and the scar has run. Should use tear proof. So what you use? Boys don't cry. Ah. Uh. It's nice seeing you smile again. I didn't mean to cry. I never planned it. You know what? You could do it, don't you? It's a real good laugh. Make a change, wouldn't it? Like old times. You will be moving back into the flat soon, won't you? Oh, what do you mean, no? I'm going to stay here for a bit. I've got a lot to sort out. Well, if you prefer crying to laughing. Oh, you think everything's one big joke, don't you? Yeah, Michelle. Ha, ha, George's been banged up. Ho, ho. If 
you and Barry Grant hadn't treated all this as such a big joke, George probably would be locked up now. Well, how did Mastermind work that one out? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Victor? Well, we went to the police and told them about Victor, hoping to help George. We stuck our necks out. Now, the best we can hope for is to have them cut off. Either way, it's pretty funny, don't you think so, Michelle? Don't you think that's a good laugh, eh? If the police don't get us, Tommy McArdle will. That's funny, isn't it? Oh, well, don't start that again. What do you expect me to do? Come back to the flat. Well, it's not much point, is there? I mean, if you get arrested, you won't be there. Well, silly me, how did I overlook that one? You could really use tear proof. worth appealing. Luffy, I don't think you should be in here. I don't think you should have lost your job. But I think you're going to have a hell of a battle on if you want to change things now. But what about McCardle? He's not innocent. He got away. Thanks to Barry Grant. You can't blame him, Lulf. Oh, can't I? Well, I can. Him and Terry gave an alibi to somebody who was involved in the robbery they could have spoken up weeks ago. Look, McCardle's got just where he wants him. He'd have killed him. Between him and me now. I'm surprised they're not in here with you. Murder, manslaughter, whatever they call us. Well, it looks like it's gone badly wrong here. Don't you think we should appeal? Get the real villains before they do anybody else any damage? The appeal won't touch them, George. They're well away now. Harry and Terry have paid in their way. How? They're never going to get my card off their backs. I don't want our Michelle involved with Terry anymore. Mm, don't start upsetting them, love. Terry's not a bad lad. I don't think they're going to last much longer anyway, whether I interfere or not. We're thinking, love. Different things we can do when I get out of here. I want to make sure we've got some plans made. Don't think too much, George. I'm not going to stop thinking. All right, if an appeal's not on, it's not on. But that doesn't mean I'm defeated now, does it, love? No. Neither am I. Perhaps I'll start thinking as well. And then when I get out of here, the family will all sit down the table and we'll go through the list. I'll have one of them bacon butties and a big mug of tea and the lads will sit next to me, one on either side. The lads are taking it well. <laughs> Poor Colin's been appealing for his imprisonment shirt. <laughs> it's only the thought of you that's kept me going in here, Lord. Just so I know you're a very strong person. And that's how I think of you when I'm in here. So as well. So I've always thought of you. Love. I'll bring the boys next time, George. It's not time to go, is it? Yes, love. Please, I'll stay a bit longer. Don't think they'll let me. Get me out of here, love, hey? Get me out of here. George, George. What's the matter? You were all right before. Look, don't go, love, hey? You've only just got here. Please don't dash off. Time's up, love. Do something, love, hey? Please try and do something. George, I've left some things with you. I miss you so much, love. I don't fit in here. Please don't get upset, love. I thought I'd been all right. I was all right before. George, I'll get you out. Listen, I'll see you next week. I'll bring the boys. Don't bring the boys. Right. I'll write every day. 
Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I suppose I'm not coping very well. Better go, love. George, I am fighting for you. Yeah. I am, you know. I know I'm sorry. I was all right before it. I know everything you're doing is for the best. Even though I can't kiss you, you know I would if I could. No. I would too. I'll see you next week. All that's left. We've only got out towards the airport to do. Great. It's paying off. I've been quite busy this afternoon. So have I. Yeah, I noticed. For the last couple of hours, I've done exactly the same work as you. Oh, go to the top of the class. I'm sick of this, Celia. You act as if you're the only one who does anything round here. No, I don't. What's all the sarcasm for, then, eh? Because a couple of hours' work a day isn't going to get us very far. I'm going to do them leaflets. Yeah, and that'll mean more business, so we'll all have to be in the shop. Where's Terry? I don't know. I don't look after him, you know. Michelle never shows her face anymore. Yeah, she's got other things on her mind. What's the trouble with you, like? You can't separate business from your personal life. George is in prison. I suppose you'd expect him to run a business from in there, wouldn't you? Oh, don't be stupid. Well, that's what it sounds like, Celia. You all seem to have lost interest. Oh, don't be soft. Well, how come I spend most of the time stuck in here on my own? Me and Terry have been here all week, and Michelle will be back soon. Well, we'll talk about it tonight at the party. Tonight's for pleasure, not business. Well, there's no other time. Tomorrow. Well, it better be soon, cos I've just about had enough. All right. You two can do the last hour. I'm off. It won't take you long to deliver those leaflets. I'll see you later. She's really starting to get on my nerves, that girl. Yeah, well, never mind that. Have a look at this. George, all right. <laughs> it was at first. And then when it came to come home, you were ever so upset. <laughs> I said I'd get him out. Help him to escape. <laughs> no. Oh, it's your good. Maybe we should appeal. I don't think it'd be good for him. Oh, I think he'd go mental if he had to face one of them courts again. <laughs> this is the very last time that I cry about this, Michelle. Well, what's through the worst now? <laughs> Just said I was a strong woman. <laughs> you are. Well, I'm going to have to use that to help him, my strength. <laughs> Come on, Michelle. I've got to build my strength up. What's for tea? It's all there, isn't it? I can read, sir. The card will be next. I think there's bound to squeal. That's it, then. End of a perfect day. It's not quite the end yet. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Run. Where? I don't know. 
anywhere. The car will chase us right down the country town. Well, we can't stay here. I'm going nowhere. What's got into you? You know what my card was capable of. If Ricardo wants me, he can come and find me, can't he? You won't be saying that when you see him. Sorry, I've made my mind up. I'm sick of being pushed around. If you don't make a stand now, you're just going to be pushed around forever. So we just wait. That's what I'm going to do. Let's, uh, let's start some redecorating, eh? Nothing too fancy. Well, when's Michelle moving back in? I'll oh, give her a chance, will you? Yeah. She's only just moved out. She'll be back when George gets out. Sooner there than me. Wouldn't surprise me if she gave me the elbow. What do you think? Well, she's got this mad idea in her head that me and you got George locked up because we didn't speak up about Victor. Yeah, but, you know, heads up about Victor to try and get George off. What do you want us to do? Do you want to follow needed or something? Well, I think Maria'd appreciate it if we did. George would be out here by the time he gets used to the scran. George would get used to the scran if he was in there. He only likes Maria's cooking. It's an acquired taste. Yeah, clearly. Don't worry, Maria won't turn up here. She'll to be in the party, smooth so much. Yo, yeah, boys, food for thought. Never eat anything healthier. Anyway, tell you, it's not all plain sailing for me, you know. Seeing is a bit narc by it all. But you can't blame her, can you? No, but we'll sort of things. Oh, lucky old you two. I hope it stays fine for you. Before oh, you two stop nagging some parties on that Harry and Edna cross. Harry and Edna. They'll be Edna. Where are your women? Well, see who's going to be late, because um, Marie and Michelle have gone to the flat to pick up some clothes. How is Marie? As well as can be expected. Hey, Marie, Excuse me. Want me to put a word in for you? <coughs> <coughs> 9.875. No, I'm sorry, he's not in. Why, what's he done now? About time we had some younger faces on the close. Harry and Edna pushed up down the jays by about uh, 90 years. To... <laughs> hey, uh, doesn't Harry mind you living with a fella like? Because he's not really into the permissive society. Is he? You see, we never told him in the third one. <laughs> we just said something like, "Ah, oh, works at the hospital." Yeah, so you see, we didn't exactly lie. No. Oh, excuse me, I'll get that. How long have you been down to Glasgow now? Oh, about three years now. Did you come straight down here, like, or what? No, I stopped for a cup of tea in Carlisle. Is there much problem with the language? <laughs> no, just the translation. Is that right? So, quick work. Yeah. Sure. I've just had the police on the phone. Is it George? No, no, no. It's nothing to do with George. It's the shop. It's been broken into. Oh, wait. That's all we need, isn't it? Might be all we need, Terry. What? Well, look, I don't want to spoil the party now, but there might be something that we need, Terry. What? We're in short of deal, Terry. We can make a profit out of this. Only take a couple of days to clean up on that. What do you reckon, Terry? Yeah, yeah, you could be right there. Eh? Mind you, it all depends what's gone right, like, doesn't it? We're in short, Terry. You might even get a holiday out of this. Man, come in and have something. It's vegetarian food with the bacon. Come on. Come on. Listen, uh, sorry we'll have to go, but uh, my mum's here, all right? Yeah, we've got a bit of business on, so uh, see you later. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks. Bye. Bye. They haven't even touched the front door. Must have got into the back. God. This isn't burglary, Terry. This is demolition. Oh, the state of the place. I don't 
didn't think it'd be this bad. You sure we're insured? Positive. little chap. One thing still puzzles me though, lads. Uh, whose is the pram? It's my mum's. She's seven months pregnant. A new boss or a pram? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Very considerate, that, Barry. Yeah, I'll best judge you. I'll take it all back. No, oh, you. Yeah. Your mum's special, isn't she? You know, you can have all the wives and girlfriends in the world, but uh, you've only got one mum, and she should be treasured, cosseted, uh, valued. That's why I bought her the plan. Mm. Wouldn't want her upset, you know, being here late like having the baby and that. Oh, it's. Uh, it's always a risky business, uh, having a kid. Yeah, one little fright and a... Uh... Anything could happen. I know. I know. Yeah, I know you know, Tommy. Do you, Barry? That makes it all the more surprising, then, you shopping Victor. He's family. Almost. All right, I know the girl's probably lent on you a bit, but, uh... The busy's had enough on Victor without uh, your ten pennyworth. I mean, your statements. Dead silly. You know what I mean? What have they proved? They only proved that he was involved with George's uh, diagram. I mean, if you really wanted to help the fireman, you'd have kept your mouth shut like I uh, thought you would do. Any more from you two and they'll bring back hanging. Just for him. You shocked Victor. I can't let that go. I mean, I'd like to, Barry, you know. Your mum's condition and all that. But rules are rules. You lads ever seen a video nasty? Hang on, Tommy, we try. Somebody's left at the party. The parties are for celebrating. My next celebration's gonna be in six months' time. <laughs> I couldn't have to do with a drink, though. So, huh? That's fine. Oh, my. Michelle, phone an ambulance quick. Do you really leave him? Don't touch him! I'll phone. Go upstairs to the flat and get as many blankets as you can. Come on, move! Move, you don't see me! Michelle, things are in a much worse state than we are. Now go upstairs, get the blankets, and I'll phone an ambulance. Move! Come on, move! Come on. Have a splendid food and drink. Come on. Look, it's Sheila Grandpa. I've got to 
Really? I've got some bad news. What's up? Is it George? Look, can you come out here? What's up? You should be sitting down. Oh, it's the two liar business, isn't it? It's all right, they're insured. They're not insured for this, Sheila. Barry and Terry, they've been beat up real bad. They're in the hospital. The Royal. The in casualty? One's in intensive care. Which one? 